Welcome to the super special Halloween special of Tuts by Kai. Hey guys, welcome back to Tuts by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are making a super special, like I said, Halloween special. We're going to be making a awesome jack-o'-lantern. Had this really good idea because Halloween is all about pumpkins. It's all about, uh, all about the, the, the jack of, of lanterns. So we're going to go ahead and hit bead box select all of our items. Uh, hit uh, drag a box over all of our, our camera cube and lamp hit delete to delete all that because we don't need it I'm gonna go ahead and hit shift a and we're gonna add in a UV sphere and we're gonna go ahead and immediately before we do anything I want to go ahead and open up this panel here and change the amount of segments to uh, to 14 to 14 and we'll change the rings to 14 as well just to have it be the same number um, well actually we can uh, we can actually make this a bit more square like so we'll go ahead and do seven so we'll do 14 and seven which is half and half uh, obviously um, we'll go ahead and, and uh, drag this panel off because we don't need it anymore I'll go ahead and add in a bit of a subdivision surface modifier by going into the wrench subdivision surface we can go and bump that to maybe two I think that looks pretty good for now uh, maybe we'll just do one yeah we'll just do one for now hit apply to that and i'll go ahead and go into tab you can see we have this pretty nice uh thing going on here with this this really awesome flower which is really helpful and really handy for what we're about to do i'm gonna go ahead and hit tab to go into edit mode like i said select the bottom and top vertices by holding down shift and right clicking them hit s z to scale them on the z axis now they both go inwards which is what we need I'll go ahead and one more time, we'll scale this in a little bit more actually, uh, pretty pretty deep actually, because we're gonna go ahead and select these uh, edges too by holding down Alt and Shift and then right clicking all of these different vertices. A few of them we'll select at a time, which is, ooh, which is really handy. Something like that. And we'll do the same thing with the bottom vertices as well. Ooh, nope, make sure you don't get some of those vertices. No, nope, make sure you don't get some of those vertices that you don't need, like that line right there. Um, there we go. All of these all the way around making sure you're not grabbing the ones you don't need. You can just hold down shift and select them uh, by hand if you want. Go ahead and do something like that. S, Z to scale it down a little bit more. Something about right there. And now what I want to do is go ahead and add in the loop cut and slide on the top right here. And we'll pull that up to get a bit of a rounder edge, which is what we need. And the same thing on the bottom here. I'll do the same thing. Loop, cut, and slide. We'll pull that down a little bit to get bit, a bit of a, uh, a, a, a smoother transition between both of those. We can go ahead and add another subdivision surface modifier, um, and we can bump this one up to two. Make sure smooth shading is turned on. We can go ahead and go to edit mode here by hitting tab on our keyboard and holding down alt sh and shift and right-clicking every other line. Every other line, make sure you don't go sideways there. Um, if you have a problem with that, just select one of the vertices by holding down shift and then select another one and then it should work properly or just keep uh, control zing it until it works the way you want it to. There we go, something like that. And we'll go all the way around selecting every single one and if you did 14, uh, 14 before, it should work perfectly fine. That's why we did 14 over here. We'll go ahead and hit S to scale those all inward something about right there and we'll hit S Z to scale it up a little bit because it did get we did lose a little bit of our height on that we'll scale it in a little bit more and scale it up a little bit I'm um, just trying to keep that main, maintaining that as you can see we now have a pumpkin shape which is pretty nice but it's a bit too tall I think so we'll go ahead and hit S Z to scale it down and we'll uh, hit S to just scale it up in general I want to go ahead and make this a bit more uh, a, a bit more uh, sharp so uh, with tab I'll go ahead, I hit tab and go to edit mode, and we'll go ahead and hit uh, control B to add a little bit of a bevel, which will add a little bit of unnecessary vertices down here, but that is fine, because what we're going to do is we're going to fix that in a second. I'll go ahead and, uh, as you can see, it didn't, do that, it didn't do that on the top, but it did do it on the bottom. The reason for this is because we had a little bit of that different, um, a little bit of that different edge on the bottom. You can see it was a little jagged instead of straight like it was supposed to be. So we'll go ahead and fix that up really quickly by undoing that bevel. Um, and we can go ahead and merge some of these vertices together. If I were to undo everything we just did, if I were to, if I were to undo all of the um, uh, loop cuts and everything we just did previously, you can see that this is not 100% flat. If I were to go to the front view here, you can see it's not 100% flat. We have a little bit of jagged up and down here, where I, whereas on the top, um, let me undo that. You can see it was, uh, I undid a little bit too much there. <laughs> Uh, you can see that it was indeed, uh, before I added the loop cut, of course, um, you can see it was indeed actually flat. You can see it right there that it was actually flat before I added that loop cut. I added the loop cut, it wasn't anymore. We'll go ahead and make sure this bottom face, 